Hello, all you fashionistas. Welcome to another episode of Undressed with me, Paul and Patrice. Hey, everyone. I'm excited because today we have a really good friend, and you guys know him because his podcast, Behind the Velvet Rope. Behind the Velvet Rope. Everybody listens to his fucking podcast. I listen to his podcast. Anyway, we love him. We're going to get all kinds of fun dirt today. We're welcoming David Yontep in the Paul at Two Beverly Hills Boutique. Welcome to LA, bitch. Listen, I'm surrounded no, by No, welcome these... to Beverly Hills, bitch. There is a difference, honey. There is a difference. There is, right? Is it the weather and the air and the smell so different? You didn't even sniff me. Smell it. Oh, my God. See? Oh, That's Beverly just, Hills rich. Listen, you, That's yeah. That's Beverly Hills rich. Is that what it smells like? That's what it listen, smells I'm, like. Listen, all these gorgeous dresses. And, and I know you listen to my podcast because yes. when you don't like something, he's I like, tell you. this one said this, and she's lying. And I'm like, I know she's lying, honey. What do you want? I think it's funny because when you have a guest on, and I'll text you afterwards, I'm like, that's bullshit. That is not the way it happened. We were there. We know. Right? <laughs> this one calls me out. Well, of course. So what do you think tells them to call, call you out? I'm like, listen, you know, look, people sit there and they tell me their stories. And sometimes, you know, like you push back. But then other times you're like, okay, we have to move on now. And I know you're lying, but let's right. not get into it right now. Do you remember the very first time we were on your podcast when you had to go up into the bedroom? Up in the Hamptons, <laughs> and uh, you were at a friend's house. That was in Greenwich, like, Connecticut. Yes, yes, I did. yes, that was at the that was during the height of the pandemic. Yeah, yes. that was. And I, I was really hesitant about wanting to do your fucking podcast because I'm like, <laughs> who's David fucking Yonta? <laughs> right? Do you want to do it now? And honey? we were number eighty seven, and we do it all the time. And, and we, we did we're on it. The show all the time. Right? Now, you guys have been on. Yeah. I think you've been. But on you know like, what my hesitation was. We're not going to talk about it. But you know what my hesitation was. But then I was like. He's nice. He's sweet. You were so nervous. I was like, just be yourself, David. Don't worry about it. Okay, you were saying before my husband cut you off, we've uh, been on. No, you've been on like, I think you guys have been on like five or six times. You're going to come yeah. on again. Yeah. That first time, right. You know, I like a certain style in my house. Okay. And so, right, I was in someone else's house and I'm like, oh my God. There was a like, party going on? I'm like, well, just the yes. best. I'm like, this furniture is not furniture that I want to be represented is, as my style. So, sure. I was, a little so I was being a snob is really what yeah, it was. Yeah, a little bit. And I wasn't yeah. nervous. I was more green. You know, I was green. Like, I didn't yeah. know what I was doing in the beginning. But now, now you're a pro. How many, how many episodes in is Velvet Rope now? 700. And this doesn't include our bonus Patreons, or, but like around 740 episodes in. 740 wow. episodes. That's a lot of episodes. That's how, a lot of how did you talking find out of your, <laughs> How did you find your niche? How did you decide this is what my I'm going to talk about? My husband doesn't hear sometimes, so if he interrupts me, it's okay. Okay. Because he has, you a, guys he both, has a hearing issue. You guys both interrupt each other no i mean like yeah. the podcast has morphed into so many different things it really is a celebrity and bravo housewife interview show but we also do like two days of dishing the dirt you know it's like it just kind of happens like here's the bottom line i could interview someone throw out a huge celebrity's name right People would rather have me interview someone who was on Housewives 10 years ago. That is really? just, yeah. The celebrities, like, but they also like the days where we dish the dirt. Like when you yeah. guys come oh, on. Oh, well, wait a minute. What's your favorite? Who's that girl that comes on with him? Sarah that Frazier. Kimmy. Yes. Right. So like oh, those. Kim D. He loves <laughs> Kim D. How old is that woman? I, I mean, her raspy voice <laughs> got to go. Well, like there's medication I think it's too much that. smoking. No, she doesn't even. Oh, she my doesn't God. Smoke. She's, 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 it's in New Jersey. <laughs> Too much, Jesus Honey, Christ! I can't, she can't make it all. And she was a sentence. New Jersey housewife, right? Yeah, she was a friend of. But this is how okay. you guys would sound like if you lived in New Jersey. No, we would not. Oh God, I There's hope not. no way we would really? ever sound like that. There's medication for it. Just like we take what we need to in order for. I always when I have when I have you on in the See, car. You didn't hear again? Did you notice? That? I heard you said you take medication. Listen, yes. you guys have been married forever. You <laughs> both interrupt exactly, each other. Exactly. When I have you on in the car and Kim's on as well, the first thing he says is, "I'm like, I can't." Oh my God, she's smoking. She's smoking. I feel like she's taking another puff. Like, yeah. seriously. No, she... I'm she only mixing your like, Armenian coffee because I want to make sure that you're going to be able to, like... Are you going to, like, the, read my leaves Of course I'm going to... Leaves. I'm going to read your coffee grounds. Wow, okay, well, that... Oh, wow. I'm going to tell... I'm, I'm going to tell you who you're, whose dick you're sucking next. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, please tell me... So, let, let, let me get something out of this visit here today, you know, other than your graciousness, of course. But welcome to Beverly Hills now. So you've moving in. 
I'm splitting my time between here and the Hamptons. So how rich is rich now, David? That's what I really want <laughs> to know. Rich. I want to know. I want to know how we came from episode 87 to this rich. Listen. Who who dropped dead and left you a ton of money? He thinks nothing has really changed. No one's dropped dead. Oh, you were dead. this rich back then? Uh, listen, I am an understated woman. You are? Look, you all. With that Rolex on your We head? all. Okay, listen. I we all, have the same Rolex. It's no, a price in this the, I have a rose gold. I know. We all know, know the people that lead with their the money or their success, and that is not attractive, right? Like, we don't like the name drop. Of course we don't. We, <laughs> bitch, you're in Beverly Hills. This is a whole Beverly different Hills, story. Yeah. I, I keep this stuff on the DL, but now that I do have three different places I spend my time, people are starting to ask questions. Well, of just like, don't yeah. tell the what people. And the fact that you have a new bag every time you come in. You have a brand new bag. I mean, I have a bag. But, I have you, a bag. You have an elevator to your suite. We don't have an elevator. <laughs> but you are surrounded by all these gorgeous dresses. I have to make this, bitch. Yes. I have to I sit know. there and stitch yes. one stitch at a time, <laughs> one little pearl and bead at a time. I don't know how you do that. I know. You should ask me how, how I did. I was do doing it before crazy. I got up here to be it's able insane. to do the podcast. You had before too. Oh my god! When, That's so what you I was started I was trying to sling dresses so I can I can buy houses like you. So oh everybody knows god. about your podcast, but I want to know a little bit about you because you always thought you were a lawyer. Yeah, why don't you? So tell you us were about a lawyer. You. Who who goes from being a lawyer to being a podcast host, and not even a podcast host of law? You're talking about drama and shit and housewives and well, bravo all, and all those bitches needed good attorney, so they probably need to turn on to David <laughs> That's so that the they thing. can really just say good work. So well, how did you start? You know what it is? It's like, I always grew up loving pop culture and okay. like being yeah. into, you know, and like so even the reality. that's the game you. Yeah, that's yeah, the game you, that's right? That's the game you. And like reality TV, like the early days, like Laguna Beach. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, of course. I wasn't born, but yeah. The Simple Life, um, you know? Oh, yeah. Right? Paris Hilton. A little yeah. Paris. I watched it on Rewind because I wasn't born then either. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that these are before your time. Then you remember yeah. the Anne and Nicole show because we were the very first. I was first. on that one. <laughs> we were on the Anne and Nicole show. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I do remember that show. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really watch it, believe it or not. Oh, wow. But I don't Pop really... culture and you're telling me. You... I know. Which the Anna get, Nicole show was iconic. And I didn't yeah. even know you guys were on it until I already knew you. You know uh, what I'm saying? Yeah. So that shows that like I wasn't just like, oh my God, there's the guys from the Anna Nicole show. <laughs> like if Paris Hilton walked in, I'd say, oh my God, there's Paris Hilton. Right. It's a, this is an organic friendship, right? This yeah. is real. Absolutely. Um, so Hollywood. <laughs> but organic. I remember, Fuck you. <laughs> I remember the show. I just don't remember much about it, the yeah. Anna Nicole show. Yeah. Well, you should go back and watch yeah, it because I, mean, I think yeah. it was I think it was the forefront of what reality was and how man producers manipulated the scenarios. Yes. And all the situations that I was live there witnessing to see how it happens and how it unfolded then on screen. Yep. And then thought to myself, gee whiz, when they were trying to do things with me and it yeah. never worked out because I'm not that character. But they I, really try to make well, you a it was it, it was in the it early stages new. of yeah. reality TV. It's where you know Anne and Nicole would get a call sheet and they, she would be said told, Oh, we're coming at 11 o'clock for your call time for makeup and hair and all yeah. that. Then the cameras, the producers show up would show up at eight, their, seven o'clock yeah. in the morning and they're like, Why aren't you drag ready? Her out of bed and really? then make, make her look, look bad like, on TV yeah. like she was not ready on time. Yeah. And they yeah. literally, I like to say they, they mentally mind fucked her, but they did. They yeah. really did. Yeah. It was like the vendor. Wow. We had yeah. Sheena here and Sheena's like, it was a mind fuck when she went to the reunion. It yeah. It was awful. It yeah. was awful. Yeah. I mean, that's what I heard. I mean, she told us some <laughs> stuff that I don't think anybody knows yet, but wow. It was explosive. I mean, are you shocked I that all this is happening with the scandal? No, no, because, because we saw we them there, kissing. We were, there. We were in Cancun. Oh, he was on the show. I remember that. He was on the I show. I told you, you I were. saw them kissing, but I never said it publicly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like I knew, yeah, I mean, I knew you guys were at the and wedding. And then the other one yeah. was all made up anyway because they kicked us out of our chairs. You got to come back on my podcast. We, we got we got to talk about this on my show. We, too. Yeah, we will. We I mean, will. again, people want me just to talk about Scandal 24-7 now. So that's the new thing. On. Everybody yeah, wants to know this about. is it. Well, well, there's so much to talk about because <laughs> what she shared with us was so intimate because us being there live yeah. and seeing things unfold, that's like the Anna Nicole show. And sometimes when you're in it, you don't really recognize it and you yeah. don't really see it. So you're not sure or you're like questioning yourself because you're thinking to yourself, did that really? But David, was what that so-and-so? Is that what Aww. I saw? But David, when I told you about this, 
back in August yeah. the week yeah. that I saw it's them there. kissing. I told you this yeah. it was not public. And what did I tell you? I think the producers put it together. We're trying to like play. You know, I thought it was a whole thing by the producers putting it together. I did not. So think wait, that I still want to really... know how rich. And how I don't rich know if I. Rich. I don't know if I. I thought that you were referring to Tom Schwartz, which is what, <laughs> I, I, what happened on the show. We and don't that know I the knew. difference. No, because I didn't Tom, know the difference. So maybe, and yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I can never tell the two Toms, Toms together. They're, they're just Toms. But it was definitely uh, Sandoval. <laughs> wow. If I knew that, I would have, I would have, wow. It would have been a whole different story. It would have been a whole different story. I'm not like as into it as everybody else is. I'm Do you just even like, watch the show? I watch everything when I have to for work, if that makes any yeah. sense. Like if you have a guest coming Like if on. Sheena were coming on my yeah. show tomorrow, I would catch up on the, so like I watch until the guest comes on and then I go on to something else, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like if Sheena were so coming on tomorrow. So have you watched all of Gown and Adam Beverly Hills? Obviously. <laughs> Every single have you seen good every question. episode? <laughs> yes, have you I watched have. season four that just dropped? Season four last just week? came out. Yes, I have. I watched every single minute of it. That's because Gown and Adam Beverly Hills is the number one show out there. Award course. winning. Yes, Thank bitch. You. Award winning. Look, look at all this gorgeousness. But then My so I'll is watch. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are killing it. I know we just uh, we're submitted for what, what daytime Emmys, daytime Emmy, American Reality TV American Awards, Reality and TV we submitted awards, for Tellys. And Tellys. So, I don't know what the hell that is. Fingers crossed. Who do you guys? Go. Who do you want to dress the most? Oh, that's a question. God, you see, is this is this me? Is this no, that's me fine. Turn, is this who do me you want to dress the most? Wait, who do you want to interview the most? It who truly, haven't you had on your to, show that, that you, you would love to have? You know, I would love to have. Okay, I mean, I know you you want me all the time, but I mean, other than us. People always ask that, and I'm like, to me, it's like I take people out that are like I, I live in the real world, so like yeah. we're not gonna have Madonna or Cher. Those Why be, not? It, yeah. That's not gonna happen. We're, Cher lives up the street. We Cher, can Cher, is, Cher is way more likely to ever happen than Madonna. I will give you that. Yeah. You know, like from the non bra from the Bravo world, I would love like Lisa Vanderpump. I was close. We were close. You oh, you really never had Lisa Vanderpump on your show. Her? Wait, you've I, never had Lisa no. Vanderpump on your show? It almost happened. She has a book coming out at some but point. But she doesn't too. really do podcasts and stuff. No, right? but it she, almost happened because I ran into her at something and we were talking. Yeah. She's like, oh, this is what you do. And follow up with. I really, oh, yeah, it was yeah, really, yeah. it was organic. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But then you're like, that's classic Lisa. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, you're like, well, no, th then you're like, okay, you don't like, well, then you're like, well, how do I follow up? I did DM you. I haven't heard back, honey. Like, do you want to give me your phone number? Right. Does, I sense you don't really like Lisa. No, 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 I do. Uh, no, she, every, oh. she, every time we see Lisa, she's trying to kidnap Snow White. She uh, loves Snow White. Listen, you're in LA, you're in Beverly Hills, you're in Hollywood. There's a lot of dynamics that roll around and it changes drastically. So when you have that. beautiful friendships, you want to hang on to those friendships very tight because <laughs> you don't know um, how they're being influenced every single day because there's somebody who wants something from you each day, every day, sure. all day. And it makes it very complicated to, to have to navigate. So I'm fortunate that I have him because there's like this barrier that they have to go through and they can't knock both of us down at the same time. So That's it makes true. it a little easier, but then our friendships, because we are from LA, yeah. have been here, are so solid from years. So then when you go to the parties and everybody's talking up a big game and blah, 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 that's them being doing the, the Hollywood very thing. The Hollywood yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, I hate that. Yeah. Is that is New York, is it the same type of? It's the it same, is. but different. You yeah. know, like, here's the difference. I truly say this is the difference to me since yep. I split my time between both places. Oh, please. Yes. Remind, <laughs> remind all our fashionistas <laughs> one more time how many fireplaces you have, how, no. many, how many elevators you own. Here is the bottom line. I think here it is more you're talking. I feel so beneath everybody okay, sitting here listen, in Beverly Hills. This is not true. <laughs> here it's more like you're name dropping and it's about the industry. And yes, everybody wants something. I mean, New York is more about that, but it's money. So it's like finance and it's different types of money. So New York's all about money mm -hmm. where like, you know, people are looking for like sugar relationships. And so it's not really about what can you do for me in the industry. It's more like, oh, I wasn't talking to you. And I guess that, you know, the person in the corner, like I'm not going to talk to that person. Oh, wait, how much are they worth? So then it suddenly is, they're it's your the new friend. Yeah, basically. it's the same, but it's more yeah. money. It's so how not much are you like, worth? 
okay, sitting in that corner, David. <laughs> we want to know. We want to know your net worth. Are you making more money now Siri, as a podcaster? How much is David Yontef worth? I, he's cutting me off. I mean. <laughs> no, I was in the middle of a sentence when you started talking. Look, my okay, show good. does well now. My show does well now. Yeah. Like, listen, we're four years in, man. We're four years in. Would I'm you go back to law? Uh, never in a billion trillion. Oh my God. First of all, I also could You went to school for that many years and then just gave it up for some Bravo bullshit? I mean, there was, there was some, there was middle steps and I did other things for a minute, but uh, I know, no. Let's talk no. about your stripping I, days. Let's, I let's gave go ahead up. And let's, tell our, let's tell all our fashionistas how many times I you wish. stripped for money. Listen, I gave up law way before this. Like, I that has nothing to do with this podcast. That what type was of law were you in? Corporate tax. Oh, that's a real boring. Oh. I'm like a closet that's, yeah, smart kind of person. Wow. Wow. You but you still that. kept your license, right? Yeah. It's yeah. all, I just, okay. I don't want to talk about anything smart. I don't yeah. want to talk about anything real. I just want to live in like a fake world. Is well, that okay? Welcome to LA. <laughs> how, much, how, much, how much weight we have you have, lost? We can have real <laughs> friends and all that, fine. But like, I just, uh, like, I don't, you know, if I just tune out, like, I just, let me ask you life something. is too tough, Did you man. think from all the people that you've interviewed that you, now you have solid relationships and friendships built from those and which one, which one is real and which one do you feel is still fake? But you know, you know. Well, I, because we know. I mean, I was going to say Patrick and Paul <laughs> are the number one real friends that I made through the podcasting of four years. But there are some others. That's what I love about it, though. Is like, yeah. look, I mean, I love that. Like, it's it is a business, right? So, like, if someone comes on my show, right. And it's like, even like, like I had like, like a big celebrity or whatever, whoever, like you really are, you mean everything you say and cause you're really focused. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you have all these plans, let's get together, oh my God. And then it, it doesn't happen, but it's, it's right. on both sides. That's, sure. it's not, but it's not that it was fake. It's just like, I'm busy and you're busy and it's like seven months later. Who is your right? worst interview you've ever had? There were some bad ones. We don't, we don't okay, need so to tell mention us the one we know, let's yeah. mention anybody else. <laughs> no, I was going to say certain people, like, we'll mention, we'll keep, it similar, like, Regina Keel from the OC, you know, the, the OG of who? the OC, Gina Keel, she's I don't know first. who that is. She's we don't one know of, how she she's is. She's one the of the OG. original. We don't even know. <gasps> she was on that first season with, like, Vicky. Oh, and Vicky was working in her, in yeah. her kitchen. In her, well, kitchen. Gina Keel, <laughs> Gina was, like, uh, literally, and I never edit things out. Like, I leave it all in, because, like. Yeah. But Gina was like, she yawned like several times during it. <laughs> then at the end, she was like, she was like literally walking out the door. I mean, this was remote and she was getting in her car to drive away. This was all on video. This was all oh like on the God. Zoom. And she's like, we're, we're done, right? And I was like, I mean, we were kind of done. But I'm like, we have to have a segue to end this so it doesn't just cut off for these people uh. listening. That, that one wasn't so great. Okay, so who's an interview that we would have known we know the person because I have no idea who, who was the bad? hell Gina was. Yeah, yeah. good. Bad. Let me think of bad. We Let just want to make sure bad. we don't invite them. No, to our I'm. I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking, because we don't want to have any bad. I'm thinking because there's a lot all. of like non. You know. You know who was? Oh, you know who wasn't great? Yeah, let's get to your roster. Yes. Who? <laughs> Mario Lopez. Really. Um, Look. Well, that's because he's used to reading things that people tell him. <laughs> he doesn't. He can't come up with shit on his own. Why was kind he? Of. Yeah. Why was he? Was he difficult to get? First of all, and was he difficult once he was on? He all of the above. So yeah. like, the thing is, like yeah. a no is never a no. Like a no is a no right. until they have something to promote, right? And there's also a lot of different ways to get people. You can know people. Sure. You go through publicists and agents, but then like you find you, him in the dark alley one night, vulnerable, <laughs> and you say you're gonna do the podcast. Yes. Well, <laughs> that is why I like LA because you are out and like like I I don't want anything from anyone. Like I'm not that person at the no, party. No, we we, we hear there, how rich you are. There are people that you meet and you're like, look, we're just vibing. Do you want to come on my podcast? They do, and then that's happened since I've moved here, so that's great. Right. But with Mario and then he had something to promote for like I think girls and boys clubs so like you know like uh, a, a no is never a no and there's somebody to promote but sure. it, was, it was like it had to be a certain amount of time and he just like you could just tell like you didn't want to be here which is fine right just fake it I mean we're yeah. not here for three hours it was a short interview but, just it, but it doesn't it. showcase them in the right way anyway so it looks really awkward and yeah and by the way listen 
it's 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 a give and a take, right? So you're coming on because of your involvement with Boys and Girls Club. We're going to mention that at the top of the show because that's why you're here. I get it. I'm very respectful. Sure. We'll mention it at the end. Now, there's no world that anyone is sitting down with you in the entire universe where they don't want to mention the word Saved by the Bell. I mean, that, of course. That's, that's how you got your yeah, stars. This is how life works. Right. And so we talked about it, but, you know, I just... You're not here just to talk about the Boys and Girls Club, honey. Like right. we have to mention Saved by the Bell, and I got. Some and he didn't questions. want to mention Saved by the Bell. You could just. I think tell. he's moved on from that. Yeah, from but he's already. He did. He produced the reboot of it, and he was. Yeah, and we so, talked about the reboot. Yeah. We talked about his career on Access or whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever it was, I researched. We, it was a whole encompassing career. What's the secret to being married in Hollywood? Yeah, I was. And listen, I, I kissed the ring because I knew. <laughs> but sorry, honey, we have a little segment here called Saved by the Bell segment. So right. There was that. He wasn't. What are some that surprises great. that you think you didn't know going into the the podcast and then all of a sudden you're like, what? You just said that? Like, what, with Mario that Lopez? Can't, no, anybody, any of your guests. Anybody. Because I'm just oh, curious, man. like, you know, because you're thinking about the storyline or you're thinking about the show, you're thinking about the guests, and then all of a sudden they just come up with something out of left field and you're thinking to yourself, where did that come from? Like, that's genius. That's great. I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, look, my show has gotten a lot of press. We're in the press a lot. But I'm right. trying to think of, like, when I heard something, I was like, wow. Because everybody wants to know you, about the housewives term. Yeah, do you? Because you get, become the you, housewife you know, king. It's weird stuff. Like, okay, I mean, do you know Tawny Katane? I mean, she passed away. She was the girl on the White Snake she was in that White Snake video. Oh, the music video. Yeah, yeah, I do know who that is. This yeah, was of also course. before time. She yeah, lived before the, my time. Before my time. She lived in the Orange County, and she has passed away. But Wasn't she, she a Playboy model too? Yeah, she, yeah. I told you, my husband knows everybody. I, I, I don't know anything. And so she's not like maybe everyone knows her, but she right. revealed. She told this whole story and like this and that. And there was once this guy I dated, and he was so nice, and I was sick in the hospital, and he came, and I was really good, and kind of falling in love with him, but he wasn't physically my type. She told this whole drawn out story. And I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know why right. you're telling me the story. And she's like, and I wake up every day so happy I, I broke up with him. And I'm like, okay, well, it was Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> oh, my God. So really? that's where I was like, I was Woo. like, wait, what? Wow. Right, I was like, well, wait a second. Let me, I'm <laughs> like, sorry. Like, suddenly this interview got interesting. I, I'm like, sorry, I was drifting <laughs> off. And she was like, you know, he came, he brought me chicken soup in the hospital. And she's like, he just physically, why was I tried so hard? And so I was like, oh, why are you telling me this? And it was hard. So I was like, <laughs> there's an example of yeah, something. Yeah, see, that's right. interesting, see? right? Because right. then you end up That's with like a big you reveal. Didn't... And you're like, wow. Wow. What, do, what do you think about the whole Harvey Weinstein thing since you brought it up? I mean, what's the status <coughs> now? Like he's, I he's mean, in that, jail. He's in yeah, jail, right? He's still in jail. like forever. He's having three three square meals a day on my dime. <laughs> yeah. He's doing good though. He's I mean, lost weight. He looks better. It's more like... <laughs> You don't know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just like have moved on from the whole Harvey Weinstein thing, you know? Right. I feel like it's always just... What's the next scandal, really? Okay, so how do you find guests for your show now? Like, what what drives you to be able to get these? Like, who do you decide? You yeah, like, bring what on? do you do? You just wake up in the morning and go, oh, uh, you know, th there's a scandal going on. I, I you're like an ambulance chaser now. You're like the scandal chaser. A lawyer. Because like, you're like, oh my god, you know, well, they're hooking up. I gotta go get that story. All right. You know? Well, we'll we'll like trade guests. You'll get me Sheena back. I mean, she's been on my show, but that was a long time ago. I'll get yeah. you someone. We'll trade. Um, you know what it is? A lot of people are pitched to me. So like a lot of times I'll get, so if someone is like put in front of me, yeah, yeah. I, it's not that I say yes to everyone, but if someone is put You're in so front lucky. of me. <laughs> wow, I feel so privileged. You know, Thank I, you. I don't, but if someone's put in front of me, I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Like you're making this so easy. Yeah. Why not say yes? So sometimes I just say yes to someone. 748 yeah. episodes later. Are there are there any um, episodes that you've done and then you've finished it, sent it to the publicist, and then they sent you back all these edits and said, you have to remove this, have to take this out? Tell me is about that. Is it Mario Lopez again? <sighs> okay, let me tell you. I mean, <laughs> this is a whole... I don't know if this has happened to you guys. So what happens is... We don't go through the publicist. We don't give a shit. And a lot of times, no. And a <laughs> lot like, of times, a lot of times, because they're going to fire them anyway. By the time this is going to air. Well, here's the thing. It's like I don't send anything to anyone. Now, sometimes I really don't ask questions anymore either. So, like a lot of times, like you're coming on my show, just whoever random person. Yep. And I, I'm on the Zoom, and I see like, oh, I'm like, who the fuck is this? And as soon as you <laughs> see a name you don't know before right. the person comes on. 
it is the publicist. They're silent. Of course. They're, so that's like, okay, whatever. So then I'm like, okay, maybe, David, you have to adjust. It's like, like our Charlie it's, behind it's the it's screen. Literally like, no, you know how they say <laughs> if you do something a thou- for a thousand hours and right. all. So like now I'm ready. So like I'm like, okay, sh- questions 15 through 17, David, you can't ask those anymore. Just I say that to myself and we yeah. pivot. But I mean, I still push the envelope. But to me, it's like, it's never, I- I've had issues where, Okay, here's an example. Okay. We don't need to mention who. Okay. Oh, please it's, do. What I mean, is it a guessing game? I'm going to try to figure this out. It is someone. It's not Sheena, but it is someone from the Vanderverse. Okay, fine. Okay. The episode is not out yet. The person came on. Yes. We loved each other. It was yes. a lo- love. Yep. And then afterwards, the person was like, listen, you know, like, uh, can you just send this to my person? And like, listen... Not, not really. Like I don't. That's Must not. Be that's yeah. not. That's not the business I'm in. No, it's, it's Lala. And, and it's, it's not. Either Lala it's or not, Ariana. It's not like recent. It's not like yeah. the scandal. It's just in general. I'm like, listen. It's yeah. not the business. I'm, like that's the thing. Like I don't work for you. So yeah. then the person got involved. And I'm like, listen. Out of respect, and you're asking, I will send you the audio file. Yeah. yeah. But let me explain to you now. If you hear something against Bravo, like a network, like big, and you think it's going to ruin this person. Uh, mention it to me. But if you're going to nitpick, I said this is all I need. Yeah. If you're going to come and you don't like this about Lisa and this, like this is not why I'm sending this to you. I'm just for, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, great. Jax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, here you go. I'm sending this along to you. Well, because we know the characters. So I'm you, like, I'm I saw the big this. smile. Yes. Because we know the characters. We know the individuals. We know you, their brain. But mind you, yeah. the person and I were like this. There was there was no yeah, problem. Yeah, Jackson, we were there like no this problem. too. No right. problem. So I'm like, and I'm he's great. But phenomenal. after he got married, very phenomenal. different. Very different. She calls the shots. I had her. I like her. I like Britney. Yeah, I like she, her. She wears the pants in the family. <laughs> I had Thank her Thank God. My <laughs> because he needs to keep it in his pants. <laughs> I, I think they're they're going to make it. So I sent yep, this yeah. thing in. Yep. And all well, this is. She's got a, a little, what do you call those little uh, things with the locks on them? Chastity belt? Yes. So a day later, two days later, three days later, I get an email. I'm like, oh, God, 15,000 pages. I mean, this was like, okay, so you can leave it off at this word, and then we want all this. And I'm like, N-O, send. No, you didn't do it. I was like, I just said no. Yeah. Like, literally, let's just say (laughs) The time it would have taken right. is, was ours. The other thing was like, wait, you want like a 25-minute conversation about Lisa Vanderpump when to this person is on out. Vanderpump right. rules. Yeah. You don't want this Vanderpump. Now, I don't know why the person said all this. That's that's not my problem. Sure. I'm wow. like, no. And they were like, it wasn't the person. It was the publicist. And I'm like. Well, because the publicist has a different idea yeah, about sure. trying to protect yeah. the sure. integrity of what it is sure. and the truth behind what he probably said, which was truthful, that they didn't want out. Sure. Now you know. So and when you're going to ask me to question again about, you know, certain but also, people this in isn't, our friendships. There's two times in my life where someone was talking where I was like, I feel bad because this person is new. But uh, when yeah. you're on a show for five, 10, whatever years, right. honey, you know what you're doing. So I was like, no. And I mean, at that point, the, the, when you're asking me to do this, and I'm not going to do it. The bridge is already burned. So yeah, there's yeah. no. And I tried to be nice. I was like, well, maybe I could soften this language a little bit here. But these other 17 things you're asking for, the answer is no. And they were like, you don't, no one's ever said no. I'm like, I, I doubt that, first of all. So they've never been back on the show. And second of all, we've, 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 we've already burned this bridge. So look, I don't want to burn bridges. But right. 700 episodes in, yeah, I burned bridges. And this, you know, this is welcome, as you say, to Hollywood. You burn bridges. You don't yeah. want to. I don't want to. Right. But you do, and you're still left. I mean, it, so also, who, wait, it wait. also works both ways. I want right? to know because which bridge you've burned that you regret. I truly can say I live life with absolutely no regrets, really. Because if but, I okay, so no regrets, but which bridge would you have wanted to still have like a little thread well, going from one? Because I want to see if I know them, so I can soften up well, the blow and bring them back. this particular Vanderpump connection yeah. leads to other Vanderpump connections. Uh, Got it. So there are people that I could get on my, you know, without this person, but this person, this manager, agent, whatever the fuck they are, <laughs> They're just is, blocking is, is involved with maybe like four or five Vanderpump people. Yeah, which is, it. look, I've Lala, no, I have a great, Lala's been on my show. Lala and I are like this. She's, She's been on my fun. show multiple yeah. times. Phenomenal. Love She's her. genuine and honest. Phenomenal. Yes. I think she is. I, there's an example. Cause like, 
I make up my own backstory before I interview someone. So I've been pleasantly surprised and unsurprised. The first and time I changed a lot since. Well, the first time I interviewed her, I was like blown away. Yeah. Like I had my own backstory. Like shame on me for being right. like. There's this thing out there with Randall and the PJ, and I'm like, you're just like a little another Hollywood like girl who's pretty who wants. No, so smart. Like I was, it literally. I this is all in my head. I yeah. was yeah. blown away by Lala. Yeah. And real. It's like a real. She was very interview. real. When we met her. Yes. A couple times we've met her. She's there's no real. like canned answers. I love but, Lala. But right. there's there's something to be said about when they know what your relationship and your friendship is with somebody else, then they evaluate yeah. where where you fall with them. So they yeah. they may be nice to certain people, it's but fake. they're friendly with others that they know you have intimate and true friendships with. And that's true. one of the things that when you're an outsider coming into this entire world of LA that you're not going to recognize because everybody's trying to go to Craig's and, you know, <laughs> pretend are. like they're hanging out <laughs> there. I never go. Speaking yeah. of going to Craig's, yeah. I mean, your Should best, go there tonight? your best friend goes there. Oh, that's yeah. the only place he wants to go. Yeah. Every dinner with Jeff Lewis, Jeff, Heather, uh, Craig's, it, yeah. it, Craig's, Craig's, yeah. Craig's, Craig's. Does Jeff like? Does Jeff Lewis like to eat anywhere other than Craig's? I I'd know. like you to ask him when you see him. I will later tonight. I'll see him well, tonight. we're going to be somewhere else tonight. We're going to be somewhere else tonight, so I'm not sure it's going to be Craig's. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's the only place. I mean, I actually no, like easy, Craig's. It's easy to go to Craig's because it's intimate. It's been there. It's a I staple. like it. Yeah. It's just you know. It's it's been one of those staple things. It's like my store that's been here for almost thirty years, and people drive by, and if they don't see it open, they're like, "Where are the boys?" And yeah. that's why people go to Craig's. You know, it's not coming yeah. out to you know seventeen paparazzi that like to camp out there from the minute it opens. It has nothing to do right. with that. They want the yeah, meatballs. yeah. That, that's what it is. Okay, course, so it's not it's not that uh, we would go to Mr. Chow. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm just asking. <laughs> We'd go yeah. to Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow, you with that because that's they're yeah, all yeah, because that's that's Chow. where they're hanging out. But yeah, we exactly. call the paparazzi ourselves. We tell them where, what time we're going to be oh, arriving. Well, Spencer, <laughs> we get hair and makeup done just before we walk out. Spencer and Heidi from the Hills invented that. So now, actually, no, know, they didn't. Then Anna did. Nicole Anna invented Nicole it. Did. Anna Nicole used to get on AOL Instant Messenger, and I was on, and That's she would be like, yeah. "Okay, we're going to be here." She would alert the paparazzi. She would tell them to and show where up. to be, what time, like and then that. we would show yeah. up with her and cameras it was, everywhere. It was so funny. She it invented so that, Anna Nicole. She did. Oh, I like that. Yeah, we've, I didn't we've know had that. Uh, we've had car yep. chases. We've had where I was on Jimmy Kimmel, and next thing you know, there's people outside throwing themselves on top of the car, yep. showing us uh, and boobs. You got, you got to think of Anna was crazy. the I most. Know. She was iconic. It was. And she was. I would be hanging out with star. Anna Nicole you right would have now. I would have loved her. her. Yeah. I would have loved it. When we drove yeah. in the limo, like from one destination to another, the crazier thing is. You would think that we were the caravan for like you too, yeah. and everybody would come out and they'd like banging on insane. the windows, the doors. They'd climb up onto the sunroof, try to get in. It was just ridiculous. No, she's kind of stuff. I, she's an icon. Really, yeah, she really she's is. Beautiful. That's why beautiful. our book, Portrait of an Icon. I know. Beautiful. She's Which everybody now. can get on Amazon. Wait, <laughs> are we gonna do? We're we gonna play a game. We usually do runway rundown, but we're gonna get you on some red carpet so we can get you to be, you know, on the red carpet so that we have like lots of photos of you Let's so we can do it. runway rundown. But since we don't have it, we have. Well, a before we do the game, we should talk about your weight loss. So in oh. yes. So in because... other words, I haven't been on enough red carpets. Okay. Go on. No, before now that the, you're in LA, they don't gonna... do that anywhere else. Uh, before we, we'll we're get gonna, your weight. Down. Your weight loss. You've lost how much weight? Like. 35 ish pounds you started you sent me that one picture ish. and i was like oh my god you and you weighed how much in that one okay picture? let me just say before okay. covid yes this is kind of how i lived like this was me oh this is tell us your weight because for audience you know what? not watching I, listening okay, how much did you weigh we're, here's the thing he's about 152 uh, like a little less actually but i don't go by weight really i truly don't like okay. i didn't really weigh myself i'm just you know, like your waist, what size waist? Like thirty-five. Now, no, no. When then. I started, 35. when you started, thirty-five. And now, what is your waist now? Twenty-nine. Yeah. 29. So that's like six inches off your waist. I yeah. hope that's all the six inches you got <laughs> off. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope the, sh the sh works. The shit works. You, you well, injection. you connected us with the doctor, so we're on it. So you need to stop. I'm weeks. telling you, you need to stop. I mean, so you, we're doing the injections, the semi glutide. No, but you I need to semi glutide. Stop. Glutide. Gl glutide. Like you yes. need to stop. And you I don't okay? Know about that. Stop with the interview. Why don't you want to stop? When did you though? When did you start? I'll it? tell you why. Um, I started 
in like the middle of October, like and maybe end of October. So okay. let's say like October 15th. So you've been that? on it for October, November, December, January, February, March, April, like seven months? Yeah. And are you good? And, and is the goal you're going to stay on it? Or you what's know, the goal? What He's is, addicted. It's like a druggie. Okay. Oh my God. What, no, I mean. It, it, it's it, true. He just wants to shoot himself up. Okay. Welcome what? to LA. Jeez, I'm going to find you in a tent. I can't shoot my needle. He, he shoots my needle. I can't do it. It's That's even worse to me. <laughs> what? Is someone else Somebody doing else doing it? Doing yeah, it? Yeah, oh, that would I can't do it. I don't even look. I'm like doing. Okay, laundry first of all, there's a lot of questions coming yes. with the semi-glutide Ozempic Manjaro. Yes. What is my goal? I don't know. I mean, I listen, I do know what they say. And, you know, you see all these people, oh, I went off it and I mean, I don't know if you really gain a ton of weight back no. when you go off. Not not if you've already trained. I feel if you're a you healthy eater and, right, you if change, you and you work out eating habits, you, your eating habits, then I think you'll... But you started, is your dosage the same... No, but I also have PTSD. I mean, that's really a big part of why I'm not going off at the moment. I have okay. PTSD. Like, like, you feel like you're going to lose this something. This was me, you... and then COVID happened. You don't want to be now, fat again. was I happy during COVID, running my show, sitting home, eating pizza for breakfast, and then Chinese for lunch, and then Mexican burritos God, that for dinner? That sounds so delicious. Yes. I haven't had that I was, in a while. <laughs> someone, like, recently is like, you, you just know, whetted my appetite. I'm so <laughs> I'm fucking hungry all day. Which one? <laughs> All of, it. All of it. Sounds All so of it. Sounds so good. Jesus. Cells. I haven't do, had do MSG find, in a while. <laughs> do you find like us, like your appetite has decreased on uh, it? First of all, in the beginning. Yeah. Because how long have you guys been, now that I've referred you to my person? Uh, six weeks. No, two, two no, months. it's been two, two months. months. So, uh, w- and I've lost 30 pounds. I started you... at 210. I'm 181. See? Are you so? Here's my. I thing. didn't really have much to lose because oh I'm God. already natural. Are you hungry? So in the beginning, mm-hmm. I wasn't hungry at all. Like my my appetite is relatively back now. Is your appetite back? Mine. We my never appetite really, never left. You know what? We never really lost. I'm our appetite. Armenian. I don't. No, that, my appetite. No. I, I'm telling you. I wake I, up hungry. I, I said this hungry. before I started taking the I go lab. to sleep hungry. If I see a cow and somebody's cooking it, I'm so there. Here's the thing for I me. I, when deal. I started it. My think, gums are hurting. I think what I, for me, for me, I don't know about Paul, but for me, I eat less. I eat, right. I, don't, I don't go back and get a second helping or a second plate. One plate, I'm full, I'm done. I haven't had the, um, the. Uh, Urgent. Yeah, to eat. Like, I don't, like I don't get up in the middle of the night to eat. I don't know. And you haven't had any side effects? I, I have a little bit of um, acid reflux. A little bit. Not much. Acid reflex or actual. Like, I'm going to throw up, but I can't throw up because there's nothing in there to throw up. So right. It's kind of David, like, I can't that was help but. <laughs> I'm looking, it, at, my, I'm yes. looking at Patrick. And, and look at how beautiful he is. Oh, thank you. Look at his eyes. See, <laughs> you don't need to lose weight. That he's Your husband got. is so happy He's so beautiful. I'm looking at him in this light. Thank you. He's so gorgeous. I'm a single gay man on the mean streets of LA and New York City. It's <laughs> right. not kind when, when for us When is the last time you were in a relationship? Oh, God. Do you I mean, want to be in a relationship? How much time do you have? I don't really know. Like, the, here's the thing. Do you want to split that money with anybody else? <laughs> First of all, those are two. Do you want to support, though, honey, do you want to support some other bitch? <laughs> those are two completely separate questions because one does not have anything to do with the other. I think if you get to be a certain age, yeah. like let's take your friend Jeff, for instance. Okay. If someone is, and I'm not coming for him, I'm just saying, and, and if someone is saying, I don't think at a certain age you can say, oh, all my friends are in relationships and I really want that. I think you have to say, I think people live the life that they really want to live. So what well, you're yeah. happy being you. Yeah. So you're, I am, you're, you don't need a relationship to complete no, you. You need a relationship not. as a companion sure. to enjoy better things that you think or you feel sometimes that, you know, you, you would enjoy with a, a partner. So sure. that's the only difference. So sure. are you dating now? I mean, I am. Well, let's or you're just fucking. Yeah, you're just, yeah, yeah, I was just. You're a tender, and you're just I, I was fucking. I'm just gonna say he's swiping. <laughs> a little he's swiping of right all, a little of all of the above. But believe it or not, I think because I just got here. Yeah. So would you have sex with in the building already? <laughs> no, because you know the, the the guy across the hall or down the there's, hall or down it's the a big honey. It's a big building. That's what I mean. <laughs> there's I mean, a lot of people to go through. And there's 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 cute guys in the building. Oh yeah. Lots of 
two straight ones too. Someone's but, thirsty. No, the dating pool here seems decent. I know this is like <laughs> this is this is okay. Let me put it this way. I because, love it. Because I'm like maybe new here, there seems there's people. There are no, people. Of course there are. But I'm not like dating anyone. I mean, I've been here for a minute. Yeah. But I'm not opposed to it. So like you said, like you... it would help increase the life. But I'm not like, oh my god, what was me? Why am I single? No, like no. I have very, I've crafted the life that I want. Do you like, feel it's easier? Happy. Do you feel it's easier to hook up with guys in New York on the apps or in LA? On the app, they do it in the. No, because he does the app. Well, I think, does the app. So what app? What app? You, apps you are don't you on even need an app in the subway. No, what apps do you want? You just do it in the subway for I mean, one there's stop everything. There's like Grinder. There's Tinder. There's. So you're on all of them. There's, you know, you don't. You Everybody, know. look for David on all these <laughs> platforms. But there's because, also lovely. But we're looking apps. for a relationship. I think. Listen, I preferably think preferably rich. But you don't want to date. I think hooking up. There's nowhere easier than New York, just because you walk down the street that's what i mean yeah. you go in the the, f, right. the f train oh my god do you know how much i've seen on the f train <laughs> jesus christ that's why no, it's called i mean the f i am train. really open <laughs> oh god, to i didn't even think of that the f train is the fuck train yeah the f train is oh the f my train. god i had no Hello. idea here everyone spread out but no i mean i i would date they do I would spread gladly here. Date somebody is that what you said but you got to be like chill and like just you know it's hard like, I, i'm very open to dating someone but like, let's just you're spread, you're open. Meet I someone, get it. You're see all what over the place. I don't know what you're gonna we do. We don't need to get married David. on the first date. We can <laughs> t- take it slow. Yeah, take it slow. Let's so when is the last date. time you had a relationship? Like a long time, way longer than my last Ozempic shot or semi-glutide shot. <laughs> How's that for you? That's a long time. Years and years. And I don't. Years. I, can't, I I I don't know how to have sex with strangers. You don't? No. I could. I mean, yeah, I it's no, not. I could. What? I mean, no, I know how to. Yes. Have, no, I mean, I'm saying if, I, if, if we had wait, an open relationship, wait, wait, wait I could have sex with strangers. Like, I'm not saying I do, but take I could that easily. back. But no, I mean, I maybe you know what? Like we said, this might. I, 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 I can't believe should you I just start said asking that. Should we pay everyone? To yeah, David. Ooh. Maybe maybe the interview has to be flipped yeah. the script because. You can have sex with strangers. Do you guys want right, to sit here? I'm not I'll saying right there. this second I couldn't, but oh, I could have sex with strangers. Three minutes when my body's not even warm? You've never, had sex, you've never had sex with a stranger? Once. Okay. And it wasn't good. Because I, when I don't connect. Really? And I don't, I, I don't, like sex is a part of the intimacy. And I love intimacy a lot more than the sex. Well, that is like maybe a, that's the adult, difference. healthy, self-actualized. Yeah, view of the I'm world. in a relationship, so I feel the same I way. I wish that I had that. Because had the that. intimacy that I share Honestly. with him doesn't supersede the sex because it's intense. But I would I not think it just want to be in a relationship people. for the sex of it. I would have to have the intimacy component. Well, I don't want to be in a relationship just for the sex either. But yeah. one night or. But see, I don't know how to. Listen, but if then, I wasn't in I'm a relationship, I probably would. You know, be a hoe. Yeah, be a hoe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am so see? lucky this is... and honored to know this. Babe, you know how much we have sex all the time. If I'm not in a relationship, where am I going to get it? Hello. If I'm not in a relationship with somebody, I'm kind of a whore. Thank God I could. <laughs> thank God I never say no because could you imagine? I said no once. <laughs> Bitch, you'll be out on Sunset Boulevard slinging it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm the host of the Behind the Velvet podcast. I like to bring things out of people. See, you're, you're learning things here today, right? Nothing I wanted to learn. <laughs> this is not well, what I needed to Well, sometimes behind the velvet rope, when you step behind, yeah, you, you know also this. learn You're with me you know. how many years? You know I'm a very sexual person, so obviously... It doesn't I'm, mean I'm not a sexual person. If I'm not person. with somebody, that doesn't mean I'm not going to have sex. So you just want me for my body? Maybe. Oh, no. fuck you. Yeah. I'm, I'm more than just body here. And all the Look dresses. at my brain. Look at the rest of me. God, I feel so violated. I'm going to have to cover up I'm now. Sorry. I feel so violated. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're going to have to start getting you on some of the runways so that we can, because we usually play runway rundown. And what it is, is we show you different looks. From your red of, carpet looks. From your red yeah. carpet looks. So yeah. we can evaluate and then get you to criticize and critique whether it's yourself or other cast members or shows or people that you were on the, the like red carpet game. with. Well, because right? now you're in LA, but everyone does I'm the red carpet. Every night we're at a new red carpet. Yeah. I mean, Lisa Vanderpump has one tonight, so I'm sure you're yeah. going to be invited. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Unless the PR person blocked you, so who knows? No. 
But other than that, but because you're not on the runway, it, we're gonna play a different. We're gonna game. play. Yes, we're gonna play another, we're another game. game. What might that be? It's called Ozempic or Note. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we usually play Oat or Note. Yes. Okay. So, so we're gonna try or not, and we want to see if you think they're on Ozempic or not. Okay. And some of these people I might know for a fact. Yes, exactly. We'll talk not. about it. Go ahead, Paul. Pick one. Okay. So, um, Ozempic or not? Teresa Gaducci. Ozempic. And, like, I kind of know that for sure. Really? I, okay, not for sure it hasn't, but yeah, pretty much for sure. So you have a picture of her getting injected with those. No, I do not have that. <laughs> I do not have that. Allegedly. So, like she's, allegedly you know, somebody. I, yeah, like she's like, you know, she'll tell someone. You know, so right, you know, so you somebody know. told somebody, somebody in New Jersey, they had coffee and then they just went down the street and they you know when they were getting their hair teased and yes. getting their nails done. And I of love course it. the nail lady, <laughs> yes. knows because they were shooting her up at the same time. Thank All you of it. the above. And she... Yes. Okay, I mean, I've got one that, for you. That one is a pretty, I'm pretty sure. I've yes. got one for you. Let's hear it. Adele. I would say <laughs> yes. I would say yes. I if she didn't do Ozempic, what the fuck did she do? I would say yes. Good for her if she did Ozempic. This is what I don't understand. <laughs> Why? I just, who in the industry that is having these massive weight losses, I agree. I just... All of a sudden, this drug is everywhere. Yeah. I mean, this will change the weight loss industry. You can, you but it can, should. You, you can fight it. Yeah. You know, people. I, I get nasty haters all day that I'm a disgusting, um, unresponsible person. Well, you have that to I st stop that I have with an their audience. Husbands. Why so are you sleeping that, with their husbands? Besides that, that I'm irresponsible. Well, you know how you like a straight guy. Everybody knows how you like I mean, a straight they're guy. They're not horrible. All right, babe. The next pick. Next name. We're not doing this one for sure. You could do that one. No. I'm curious your do opinion. It. Do it. One of our very good friends. <laughs> do it. But you better be nice. I am always nice. <laughs> Kyle Richards? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Kyle. She swears she's <clears throat> not on it. I just... And you gotta believe her. I mean, even if everybody else I'm, is doing it. I'm torn. But she's very honest. I think she's on it, but like. But she works out like a fiend. <sighs> she does work out like a fiend. I mean, to me, it's like, look, the train has left the station for her in her statements on this <laughs> subject. So I wonder if she just didn't say one thing and then this train is, I mean, with her, it's really become a thing now. So yeah. I don't think there's any coming back. So you don't saying, know who said, who said, they said. No, but, th but you I know that she, she's I, on kind, I just, I mean, I've never seen Kyle this thin before. It's not even, she's looked great. Nobody's every, seen you no, this no. thin before. <laughs> oh, but then you were on it. Yeah. So sorry. I mean, <laughs> All right. I got another one for you. Rebel Wilson. Oh. I say 100% yes. <laughs> Hundred percent, right? She's never been able to. Was she the one that was dating uh, Bush? Jacob Bush? Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, he should be on our friend family. Jacob Bush. She was dating him. I don't even know who that is. The, the Bush and family. Heiser Bush. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was dating Adrian Maloof before. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we got some he dirt there to, too coming up. He's been wanting to marry her uh, forever. I know. Well, isn't she like? Married now? Doesn't she have no, a, she's married. Divorced. Adrian's not married. No, not married. Not Adrian. Adele. Doesn't she have a girlfriend? Not or? Adele. No, Rebel Wilson. I mean, Rebel Wilson. Wilson. Yes. Wife. yes, and a baby. You, yes. you see what Manjar does? You right. this guy? <laughs> you're you're Rebel, like oh, no. Hello? Rebel Wilson <coughs> dated the Bush guy. He's so guy, confused. You need and to she's, stop. No, she's now with. Oh, her wife. Yeah. Right? They marry just they because they're okay. just because they're full size figured women, you're just now <laughs> categorizing all of them the same. No. I feel that, um, like you said, she's been big her whole life, and then now I don't get it. Do you see skinny. yourself fat still? Even the gastric bypass surgery for people didn't work like this. Right. Even that you would have it, and then like maybe you were you would be thinner but it's like you know this why? is like because this forces you not to eat because it suppresses your appetite and you're just doing one shot it's easy the other ones you really had to work and change your habits with and a lot of people yeah in a certain category it's hard to change your habits it's hard to change your mannerisms 
Yes. And it's, and but how people do you... think this is like, you know, I always, I look, I mean, I feel like this is Botox. Like 30 years ago, someone said, I have something to say. I got my face injected full of poison and botulism. Yeah, right. And someone said, you're actually crazy. <laughs> and someone also said, what's going to, what are you going to do when, when, when it wears off? And it revolutionized. And the they industry. said, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. And they said, okay, sweetie. Well, I mean, I've been getting Botox for like how many years and I've never stopped. So yes. Right. So this is I right. I wish we bought stock in Ozempic back in I the know. day. Uh, seriously. It's all the drug companies. So it's like, whether you're for this, you're outraged, it's, it doesn't matter. This is bigger than all of us. Like, this, it already is, look where we were six months ago. Six months ago, I had to say I was on Ozempic because no one knew what Manjaro was or semi-glutide. Like right. the fact Manjaro that now- Manjaro has a commercial. That's what I mean. Now the fact that yeah, now yeah. you can say Manjaro before- You can go like, to Mexico. It, it's not like I lied before, but if I said Manjaro, someone would have said, I don't understand what that is. So you just say you're on Ozempic even though you're on all these other things. Now there's more brand recognition. So even in six months, whether you like it or not. So this really is, a, this is a game changer. This is it. This how did, how did you find out about it and start taking it? Someone who is kind of like in the weight loss, that industry told me about it. And I was like, I don't know. Cause you know, at first I don't believe anything. You know, like there's all those other fads. It's a lawyer and do sure. this, do that. You're like right. this, and then someone's like, no, this really works. So I think I then I had a consult. You know, like you, you yeah. can't. This isn't like the back alley. You know, right. I, I refer a lot of people to my girl, but yeah. it's not like she just says, "Here's the script." You have to do a consult. A blood you referred test. your girl yeah. to us, and now refer, we're referring yeah. her to all our friends. Everybody so, I know is on it. That, Everybody right. walking into our Beverly Hills boutique, yeah. uh, you need to it's go on, on Ozempic it. before you can fit the dress. <laughs> and, no, and, and I said the same thing you said. I said, you don't understand. Like my craving for a pepperoni pizza, and I eat all eight slices. Like there's nothing. Right. especially a shot that will that will take that away. No. So I didn't believe it also. I was like, right. I've tried other things. I've tried everything. My hunger is just food is life. Yes. And then I gave myself the first shot yep. in like, I, ju I swear to you, within like the first 24 hours, I was like, this is it. Because it just, I wasn't hungry. I was yeah. like, and then, you know, you can't tell based on 48 hours, but then a week or the first two weeks, I was like, I can't believe how not hungry I am. So that was when I was like, the, I'm so hungry. that the was when I was thing. like, this is it. Like th finally. Right. And so that's why I'm not such against it. I am a fan of it. If like you can say, I've tried everything, eat healthy eating diet, and you just get to a certain age or a certain, nothing was working. And yeah. so, sorry, if this makes me feel like myself again, I don't give a fuck if people have a problem. I mean, it. I had liposuction. I'm, so did no I. Secret. In I season it. four, it's coming out in season, season I'm four. I'm just naturally yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Bitch, you had liposuction too. It's on the show. They took less of me <laughs> because they couldn't find enough to take out. Oh, wow. Well. But, I mean, look at me. Even after having liposuction, I still need I, I, the the Ozempic has like leaned, like cut me, like so I can go to the gym and my abs come in yeah. so much easier. So, I it's, love, I love putting, I, and, I love putting cheesecake. On listen, abs and, and people say, it. and people yes. say like, oh, you know, the the shortcut, the shortcut. It's not such a shortcut. Like I, you right. know, you the side effects are real. Some people have yes. them. It sounds like you've had, I've had them. No, it's awful to go to a I've had really bad and side not effects. be able to eat. Go to dinner. I, exactly. I'm like, I don't want to go to dinner. There's a little bit of I depression. Don't go to dinner. No, there's a little depression in the beginning because yeah. the joy of food yeah, yeah. is kind of like my appetite's back now, but the joy of food is is gone a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. don't I don't care to eat anymore. I know. Give him another like, one, whatever. Paul. Yours. Give him another one. Okay, so are there any Kardashians you think aren't on Ozempic? <laughs> This is a good question. Um, well, I mean, I think that I would say Maybe Kendall, not. Kendall's probably not on it. Oh yeah, and I would say Kylie's probably not on it. I think yeah. Kendall and Kylie are probably. I think not Kylie on it. was on it. You do? Yeah, because remember how she was big and then she suddenly just lost all that weight and, and, but and that by, was she may have been up. the first Kardashian on it and then Kim got on and it. And by the way, I don't Maryland. think Courtney's really on it now. Courtney's owning. Courtney's happy. Yeah, she's married. I mean, well, she's got to suck that guy's dick all day. I mean, come on. I mean, that's a lot of work. Know. Clo Money, I don't even recognize Clo Money. I mean, Chloe is like, I'm like, who, who is she? The is, face is different. Everything is different. But the body is, is like, and Everything. she even says, oh, I was always the fat sister. I mean, right. she is not the fat sister anymore. I mean, and Chloe she's is beautiful like, beautiful now. Yes. She's had her face totally redone. Chloe is on it. Well, look at what money it. can buy you. <laughs> a Rolls Royce and a new face. Have you ever had any of the Kardashians on your podcast? No. 
I've had like Kardashian adjacent. I would even love Scott Disick on my podcast. I've had Black China. Oh, she's hilarious. Yeah, she's I funny. love her, right? She's, well, you can find her in the alley next to Bank of America. That's where she parks her roles. Her so roles. Her <laughs> yeah. Wow. They meet each other all, all the time. She's a good one. Patrick and her, like yeah, she's this. fun. She needs to come in here and get in one she's, of these. I guys. know. She's not doing anything recently, but yeah. Okay, yeah, I got no, another one for you. How about Dorit Kemsley? Mm, these are getting harder. I mean, <laughs> it's been it's been well, yes. You're in Beverly it's, Hills now. it's been yes up to this point. I don't think Dorit's on it. I haven't really seen a great weight loss with Dorit. She was always kind of. Th- I, no, I, she's I would the, say she's the kind that eats and throws up. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> yeah, she, she doesn't really want to. I'm gonna shoot say up. no to her. Okay, it's like it's like him. He threw up before he got here. But so that's good. because of that. That's because of it. Okay, go to your next one, Paul. I don't have any more. Yeah, you do. Nope. Gigi. Oh, Gigi. Sunset. Gigi has a, Gigi and I are like this about it. Gigi has admitted it. She has. Yeah. Yes. Gigi. Okay. Gigi and I are we 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 are often in the comments together. Because Page, MJ's not Page. on it. No. No. MJ's not on it. No, we asked her point blank. Yeah. No, she's, she said not. she's not. Yeah, she's not on no, it. No, she's not. But like Page but, but six. But you know what? I'm gonna hook her up. <laughs> she, you know, like we're like for, we're like forget doing the the forget uh, walking this. and the forget stairmaster. It. Exactly, Screw, we don't have time for the gym. Gigi's, Shoot yourself up and go to a red carpet. Gigi's vocal because she'll come after people. And, like on page six, she'll be like, "I'm on it and I love it." And I'm like, "Girl, me too." And Gigi's like, "LOL, love you, David. Love you, Gigi." Do you think she's on it? Any she of the it. Vanderpump Rules cast are on it. They don't have to be. They're yeah. All like organic. Yeah. Just so yeah. Skinny. I think they're all. And they're all drinking all day. Who do you think they is don't on even it? eat. I think nobody from that cast is on it. No. Well, I got you know I'm got my eye on Katie. What about if that I start publicist? seeing her lose weight, the publicist that I hate. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I've she never, needs to be on there. You've never I, seen him? It's a, he, it's a he and I've never seen him. And, you know. You've never seen him. <laughs> no, oh there's nobody from Vanderpump that I feel is on it. Yeah, I feel the same way. Even Beverly Hills Housewives, I feel... Is there anyone on it besides Erica Jane? Miss... Yeah, 100%. I think she's on it. Erica's I think Erica's 100%, 100% on it. percent on Ozempic. She should be. She lost a husband. She lost a mansion. She lost the money. She lost uh, the boyfriend. Erica and Kyle. She can't be a sugar daddy yeah. mama. Whatever you know, like, that's gotta be a that's, big. That's, that's gotta be difficult. a big awakening. Have you ever had Eric on your show? That's very no. difficult. That's gotta be yes. a big awakening for Erica Jane, um, because she went from having all this money to having nothing, and having to start all over again. And not for nothing. I'm not being mean to Erica. Yes. But you know, I've said this on my show, and this isn't me saying it. You know, a lot of sugar daddies, they don't want 50-something. I'm not saying it. Right. Now, this is not it, but they want, like, 19, 20. So I think Erica is going through this, re, trying to re, figure it all revamp. out. Yeah. yeah. She needs a younger but sugar daddy. I think she is a survivor, but she's 100% on Ozempic. Wait, I have a question. Erica Jane reminds me of a cat that has just clawed her way out of and she's continues. A I have a question. Yeah. Are you happy that Risa Brenna's not on... A Beverly Hills housewife. Rinna and I. Well, Rinna has blocked me recently. I mean, a lot of people block. Yeah, why did she block you? She blocked me, this bitch. Um, <laughs> well, that means that she, you were even on her radar. And that's the thing. That's why we. Need, I mean, look, I, I'm a Melrose Place fan. I am a diehard Melrose yeah. Place fan. So I was she on Melrose? She yes. was. Oh, I can't remember. Yes. yes I remember was, Heather Locklear. Well, that you know. So I, yeah. I, I revere Rinna as, and she's a hustler. But she, look, she didn't like the fact that I was honest about the fact that she was fired. I mean, she, there's, I don't know what world we think that she walked away from her million dollar paycheck on Beverly Hills. And I wasn't even mean about it. I was just like, this is a fact, pretty much. And but don't I, you think the rumors I didn't think, are, and then so she blocks me. But don't she you think like the rumors are that. true that Lisa Rinna and her husband Harry and the daughters are getting their own reality show? She just did an of interview today, like or yesterday. Oh, she did. Where she's like, "This is a hundred percent not true." I don't believe it. I think that I think she is getting her you own think show. Think so? Yeah, I think people want to watch her. I think they just don't want to watch her with the other housewives. I I didn't mind her on Housewives. I liked her. Did you ever see her reality show that she did with Harry before? Yes. I thought it was a very fun show. I, I'm like a Rena, I'm like a Rena fan. I mean, she can block me, and that's okay. Like Jen Shaw blocked me, and she's a vile human being. Wait, she's in jail, right? 
Do you want somebody in jail not to block you? <laughs> you want me to tell you something about her PR? Yes. So her PR, so my team reached out to her PR to book some wine. Oh my God, my team talked to her. Listen, okay, go ahead. This no. is bigger than me. Go ahead. But I, I book a lot of people direct, but my yeah. team reached out to someone and they're public. The thing is like, people don't realize. It's kind of like Jeff Lewis. Like we can have any interaction you want. Yep. If it's not pleasant, I mean, when I turn on the microphone tomorrow morning, we're going to reveal this to lots of people. Right. So <laughs> when it, we, you can come after me one-on-one -on -one or in an email, but it's all going to be revealed. So my team reached out to a publicist of someone else, a housewife, and the, the publicist wrote back, we will never have this person back on Behind the Velvet Rope. Oh. He, he speaks very poorly of our client, Jen Shaw. <laughs> and, and therefore, we do not want to- You mean to... stating the fact that she's right. in jail right. and she I'm conned like, all these I'm other like people? I'm like your client, excuse my language. Right. I'm like your client. Like, so then I went on the next morning to say like, I would just, like what shady ass PR firm, because I can say that, it's my opinion, this yeah. isn't slant, has a client that they're standing behind. In, you know, this is a guilty convicted felon. So do I don't know what type she... of PR you do at that point. Right. What is it? Like she's in jail and she's. Well, so they need to do earn you their feel paycheck. If she never went on, Shaza, uh, she never went on uh, Salt Lake City, she would not have been exposed and she would have not. I think it started, found. I think it was years in the making. Yeah. I think it would have still come out. I do. Now, Erica and Tom and all that, that's another story. I don't know. That was shocking it. for me. And Teresa and Joe, 100% it's because of the show. I yeah. Mean, and they're like flashing and this and that and yeah. enemies. No, I think Jen Shaw's was in motion. That's why our podcast is uh, audio. So you don't have to really <laughs> see the beauty that we're all That's today. why. That's why you're not, you know, going to... This is why, like, you know... It I, is audio, but visually I will tell our audience I'm wearing our new Paul Etu fashion as fuck t-shirts <laughs> available at paulatu.com with other merchandise and don't forget to rate review and subscribe the cool thing now I, have you ever had your have you ever had your cups read never so the copy you've been sipping never. we are now he's Paul. had his, he's, he's had his dick sucked well that we know that a million probably that an hour before you came that's coffee. why you were late you're getting your dick sucked <laughs> before no, you came in i was late because i the uber situation in la is not what i expected they don't come oh like my God. there's a million of them circling like sharks you go to request it the thing is like searching 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 for the driver but there's a thousand right here and then you get the driver and then they cancel yeah, but we're well, going from Hollywood to Beverly Hills. Want to go Welcome to our money. Because they want to get a higher rate. They oh want my to get God. Okay, rate. so we're going to do, he's going to read your Armenian coffee cup. He's going to look into your cup, look at the grinds, and tell you what he sees. Well, it's very interesting. I'll be tell honest, you, there's two. Be honest. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest. There's going to be two. There's two sides to it. There's the interior section of your home and the exterior. And the interior section mm -hmm. is from the side that you drank from. So you're right-handed. So you, you know, held it and drank. And that's the interior of your home. The exterior has a lot to show. I think there is a man in your life that you've left behind. <laughs> Because there, I see somebody. I see that smile. I see somebody that's Many outside men. your home that you, for whatever reason, you were thinking about starting a relationship or there was a relationship to be had with this one individual. And you're either running away from this person because you were afraid of the relationship or you thought that it was going to be different. There's a black cloud over this person. And you seem, you were so enthralled with this individual. Either you found something out or you decided to go in a different direction, but you're the one that broke it off and left. So I don't know what that's all about. But here's the interesting thing. Tell me. This individual mm -hmm. is now going to come here because it looks like he's Come here to LA? His, coming to LA. Oh, he's you've got a boy chasing kind him. Kind of chasing him around. <laughs> Because what happens when I'm not here and I'm back in New York? Well, then he's going to be there because <laughs> oh this God. guy, lanky and tall, actually, like a tall guy, and tall because he looks like he's finding a way to you here. Jeff Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> he's, Jk. He's, he's on the West Coast, so on the interior, you seem to have a lot of things happening in your home, in your environment. There's like this little funnel, like this tornado inside the middle of your home. That's his There's life. like a lot of stuff <laughs> twirling <laughs> around you and you're yeah. like center, you're trying to find, you're trying to find grounding if 
does that make sense? Like you want to ground yourself somewhere and you're thinking you need the little tornado to kind of dissipate so that you can find where you're going to be, find who you are or how you're going to be in your new environment. You're looking for an amazing change in your life. And there's two perspectives. There's two things that are happening that are coming your way. Well, the amazing change, you're now bi-coastal. That's a big Well, change. there's there's two changes. I love that part. Yeah. There's one coming from the outside and one happening from here. Mm. I don't know if one has to do with that guy. Whoever this guy is that you don't seem to know. No. There's a guy. Well, we saw Grinder the other night. Did you leave somebody behind? <laughs> was there somebody that was... You were entertaining somebody, the Not perspective. Really. You were very close. There was somebody there. Hmm. If I'm going to have to dig and, dig and think about think this. Think about this. Because Older, if you, younger, any age range you got there? It's, it's like it, a it giraffe. Was a double he looks stand. like a giraffe just the one night to me. Stand. A giraffe. He looks like a giraffe. Tall. He looks like tall, lanky, uh -huh. grace, like just very calm, very docile. I tend to like calm people. Yeah, yeah. so it, it looks like this giraffe. Do you like go tall guys or no, typically? Um, not typically, Okay. but very quiet and docile. Yeah. That's kind of my thing. I mean, you... There's, and, you know, and we don't need another one of this. He guys. doesn't even <laughs> look like he's in the industry. He just looks like this very I'm okay with that. Like he he looks like an accountant or an attorney, like some somebody professional. I like a good right professional. But here, a here's the geeky. thing. I'm okay he's with also that. working <laughs> just on a nice body underneath the suit. That'd very nice. nice body. Body. Oh, well, he's I like also that. working on something that he wants to maybe present to you because he probably thinks that's the way to be able to win you because mm. just having a relationship isn't enough for you right now so what he's trying to do is to find a way and that's one of the what is it the pitch something that he's going to propose to you mm. does that make sense sure. so he wants to bring something your way like a mini so that he gets tank. your attention take your thumb put it at the bottom here no at the bottom of the cup <laughs> are you cup. kidding me oh my it. god twist. well you don't have to make a hole in it this? Yeah. Because he's going to read the rest of the cup. Oh. Okay. You're into the sky. You're oh so into the sky. David, you haven't paid attention to the sky at all. Tall and lanky. You're into the sky. You're just, I think, okay, so let me preface it. Maybe you've been so busy trying to figure things out for yourself and to move and all the newness that's There's been, been going around. There's been a tall, lanky person in, in the my... last two years that you've been trying to do this, and finally you're here and you're trying to get your footing and you're settled. I think this guy is going to be revealed very soon because it looks like fireworks are happening around. Tall and lanky. Okay. Yes. Yes. There's okay. Well, fireworks. I'm going to. You know, keep pay and attention. And it may be one of the friends that's going to be coming here. I don't know, but it looks beautiful. You're, you have such a beautifully successful little village that you created, and I think you're just going to be relishing in it. And I think eventually, you're never going to go back to New York. You're going to stay in LA. You love it LA. Looks like you said you'd love you love. You are not. It doesn't look like you're going anywhere I, fast. I do. You can love call it. yourself by coastal right yeah. now, 50 50, but you're going to be spending more time in LA than you would be. In Had New you York. ever lived in LA before? What about the Hamptons, darling? Well, that's going to be like a, you know, you a go hang out, place. see your friends, and then come Had back. Had you ever lived in LA before? No. Ugh. You know, it's like I really feel if I were really from here and yep. I was doing the same thing now in New York, maybe I would feel the same about New York. But it's funny. I have another friend that moved out here a year ago, and he's just like, he moved out here for work. He's high up at the E network. We don't need to get into that. <laughs> and he was like, I'm not living in LA. I'm just going to stay in New York and I'm going to go out for work. And, yeah. and now he's like, um, I, this is the best thing that's ever happened. Yeah. Yeah. He's I like, I haven't to been York. to my New York place in like whatever. And I'm like, Absolutely. I get it. It's yeah. I mean, I, I do love it here. I do. That's what it is. If I maybe grew up here, maybe I wouldn't, you know, yeah. but I feel like you I'm. Still would. Really? Well, the this giraffe is, is on his way. So this is, well, down the, the, here comes I the know. guy. So if I meet a really cute guy who's like shorter, just keep moving. <laughs> just say, you you're, heard not, it, David. you're not you heard the it tall first. giraffe that I heard about. No, it's a giraffe. Okay. Nice, tall giraffe. 
Well, David, we have had fun time with you today. This has been You guys amazing. are, you need to come on my Behind the Velvet Rope podcast. Yes. Everyone can l- Where can listen. people find you? Tell us. Then we'll really have to talk about things. <laughs> yeah, no, we can continue our Ozempic and all the other stuff. Um, They can find me Behind the Velvet Rope on Apple, Spotify, anywhere you find podcasts or at Behind the Velvet Rope on Instagram. And I do a lot of celebrity interviews. So if I really annoyed everyone here today, you can still listen because my interviews are not at all about me. I don't even speak. I just ask questions and then I shut up and listen for the answers. I love it. Well, David, you, David Yontif, you've been officially undressed with Paul and Patrick. I feel so honored. Thank you, guys. Thank you for listening in, everybody. Until next time. Bye, bitches. This podcast is brought to you by Vocal Podcast Network. Executive producers are Michaela Simon, Paula Tu, and Patrick Simpson. Produced by Ariana Giles and Morgan McDonald. Shooting and editing by Morgan McDonald. Music by Digital Camel. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Paul Atu and Patrick Simpson. And Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow Paul at Paula Tu, Patrick at Patrick Simpson, Snow White at Snow White 90210, and Vocal Podcast Network at Vocal Podcast. Don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.